Greetings YouTube, this is Chris McKee with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com and here on YouTube where we try to bring you information, reviews, and everything your hearts desire. Today is a bit of a Guitar 101, a comparison if you will, of two of the primary pickups used in electric guitars. The humbucker versus the single coil. It's the battle royale between these two icons of electric guitars. So let's do a bit of history. Uh, when the electric guitar was amplified, the idea was basically to create a coil not that dissimilar from a magnetic coil used in a microphone in order to pick up the vibration in the strings. And single coil and humbuckers get their name basically by their design. What we're going to do is demonstrate the sound differences uh, for you using two icons of electric guitars that are pretty much synonymous with these two types of pickups. The first one is a 2017 Gibson Les Paul Standard, and then we have a 2017 Fender American Professional Stratocaster. The Stratocaster, since its inception, has been a solid body guitar, bolt-on neck, three single coil pickups with a five-way switch, and the Les Paul started off actually with P90s, which is a different type of single coil that we'll talk about in another video. But since about 58, it's had humbuckers, or 56, so forth. The bursts were 58. Anyways, for a long, long, long time, this has been the Les Paul. Two humbucking pickups in the neck and bridge position with a three-way toggle switch. There's been a lot of advancements over the years with different pickup designs, passive pickups and active pickups, and different magnets used, out Nico 2, 3, 5, so on, covered, uncovered, single coil, humbucker, P90, and so forth. So there's a lot to sort through. And there's also a lot of things that impact the tone of the guitar outside of pickups. Believe it or not, regardless of what you might have seen on some other YouTube video somewhere, how the guitar is built actually matters. And not just what it's made out of, but the design, how long the scale is. If it's a uh, longer scale, 25 and a half inches like the uh, Strat or 24 and three quarters like a Les Paul, um, you know, PRS is making a 24.594 inch scale McCarty. It, it matters, it changes the tonality of the instrument. So the scale length matters, the pickup position matters, how many wraps are around the pickup matter, what magnets are used matter, all of these things matter. And the reason they matter is this, a pickup is kind of like a microphone. It's picking up the vibration frequency of the string at the point that the pickup is at. So right here in the neck position, right past this 22nd fret, where the neck pickup is, is a warmer spot on the guitar because there's more movement in the string, a broader frequency range, and so you have more low end. Down here by the bridge, there's less trans, uh, transferring movement, less vibration in the string because of its proximity to this point, and so you have less low end and a brighter tone. That's how it works. If you grab an acoustic guitar or even electric guitar and you strum here versus here, you can hear the inherent difference that's what's, uh, what's going on in the string from a frequency standpoint. So what the pickups are doing is picking up what the string is doing, okay? That's how they work. So what's the difference between a single coil and a humbucker? I'm glad you asked. So let's talk a little bit about design so that the tone difference makes sense. Single coil pickups are basically a bobbin with magnetic pole pieces and thin wire wrapped around uh, creating an electromagnet. The more wraps around there and the types of magnets used in those pole pieces determine the power and res frequency response of that pickup. Okay, so if you want a, what we call hotter pickup, that's typically a louder, more gainy style pickup, then there's more wraps on there. If you want something that's uh, got less power, then you have lower wraps, okay? Or fewer wraps on it. You can also adjust the, uh, the pickups that are, or the magnets that are being used in the pole pieces. But they're basically a single coil with that wrapped around there. And on this guitar, there's three of them that you can access via the five-way switch for, any, uh, for a variety of combinations on it. That's how it works. And it picks up the vibration of the string above it 
Again, neck and bridge warmer to brighter with the middle kind of being in the middle. Now, the nice thing about single coil pickups is it's a very narrow path that it's picking up on the string and there's less inherent magnetic pull from the pickup. So what you have is you have a brighter tone, a bell-like chime that's typical with them, um, and usually a bit more vibration from the string because there's less magnetic uh, pull, which gives you that high-end clarity and tonal response out of a single coil pickup. So even in the warmer neck position, you're going to have more treble out of it than you would in a uh, humbucking pickup. Now the downside to traditional single coil pickups is that because they're a magnet, they pick up uh, interference, hum. It's called 60 cycle hum. It can pick it up from a variety of things from lights to, if you're playing next to the popcorn machine, CRT screens, and just the Earth's magnetism. So that's the downside. And if you've ever heard kind of a hum coming out of a guitar, particularly if there's a lot of gain, that's 60 cycle hum, okay? And so that's normal in single coils, and it is what it is. Humbucking pickups came about to combat that. They consist of two bobbins, one uh, with magnetized screws, and they can be covered or not covered. The other bobbin, the second bobbin, is round in the reverse, so it cancels out any of the hum that would normally come from just the single coil pickup. So that's why they're called humbuckers. They buck the hum. Seth Lover knew what he was doing when he designed them. So that's what a, a humbucking pickup is in its design. Um, they have traditionally been covered. Some guys took off the covers and it gives you a little bit more high end, more treble, you know, if you take them off. Um, and humbucking pickups, because there is two coils there, there's more uh, magnetic draw, they tend to have a warmer tone, more lows and mids, not as much high end clarity that comes out of it compared to a single coil. They pull a little bit on the string and because of that magnetism and because of the, the distance that it's covering here, it's not just this part, but there's really coverage over this area. Um, there's just a bit more mid range and a little bit more of a compressed fatter sound, they're louder, there's more gain that comes off of a humbucking pickup. Now, in modern times, we've muddied the waters a bit. This particular guitar comes equipped with coil split options or coil taps. So if you pull either of the volume knobs, it splits the humbucking into a single coil. Basically, it cancels out, uh, it grounds one of the uh, coils, and so you only have one coil working so that you can get a single coil sound. The question we pose is what is the tonal difference today between a single coil and a humbucker and does a coil tapped humbucker really sound like a true single coil? Is it close enough? Is it not really there? That's what we want to present to you today. So I'm not making any determinations for you about which is better. I have guitars with both and I have single coil pickup guitars that I use a lot, and I have humbucking guitars that I use a lot, and some of those humbucking guitars have coil taps that I will use. Um, so hey, variety is a spice of life, right? But if you haven't been able to compare these side by side, here's your chance to hear what they sound like and determine what sounds best to your ears to determine which guitar you really, really want. So let's check it out. <laughs>
got Stratocaster with single coil pickups, Les Paul with humbucking pickups, and a coil tap. And you can hear the difference. Now to my ear, a coil tapped humbucker on a Les Paul doesn't sound like a single coil on a Fender Strat. So if you want a Strat sound, you can't buy a Les Paul and get a Strat sound. They're very different guitars. And it's not just the pickups, it's the scale length, it's the construction, it's a whole lot of things. But a coil tap humbucker doesn't sound exactly like a single coil. However, it can be serviceable as one. So you can buy a guitar with humbuckers and have it be very, very flexible, have it do a whole lot of things. Or you can do what a lot of us do, buy a lot of guitars. Anyways, I hope this was helpful for you. If you have any questions or comments, please comment below on the video. We'll be glad to help you out. As always, we want to thank you for watching and remind you to subscribe.